Hello DT Next viewers, this is Niveda, a social activist, educationist, counselling psychologist, non-official member of Tamil Nadu Widows and Destitute Women Welfare Board and most importantly, a survivor of domestic violence. Today with us, we have Kalyanati Sachdananda, whose passion is to serve the society. Uh, so yes ma'am, we came to know that uh, your family was into the field of uh, social servicing. So can you please share your journey and how your family is your backbone and where it all started? Okay, so it all started from my forefathers. Uh, so uh, my forefathers, uh, when it uh, when it comes to my forefathers, my grandpa he he fought for the welfare of the tree plantation workers in Sri Lanka. Then came my uh, elder uh, aunt. Uh, so she came into the politics uh, at a very early age. Uh, um, uh, so she wo she worked along with uh, uh, the former uh, Prime Minister uh, Indira Gandhi. So in the formation of the Women Congress in at, in Sri Lanka. So uh, the journey uh, started from the uh, forefathers and then came my father. So my father is uh, also ra ran an NGO and he worked for the war torn uh, I mean uh, refugees and the uh, people who were who were affected by the war. Uh, so he is a doctor and he has treated uh, uh, people who were affected by the war during tsunami. So he has uh, seen the most vulnerable people and you know to, he went to the extent of sacrificing his whole life for the uh, uh, sake of the community. Uh, so we were brought up by our mother only. So he did not even have time to care about uh, the family. And whenever whenever my father uh, used to talk to me uh, at my early ages, uh, especially when I uh, uh, started to um, regain conscious about the society he always used to tell me that uh, he used to uh, put a steth around my neck and he used to tell me you have to become a doctor and you have to serve the people so he never told me that you have to become a doctor to gain identity so he always told me that you have to become a doctor to serve the community so that that stuck uh, uh, um, you know, uh, deeply into the uh, subconscious mind, and uh, uh, my intention was always that, like, uh, when 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 I become, uh, uh, when I grow old, when I uh, you know start earning, and uh, I have to start serving the community. So uh, it started from there, and uh, see the process is like this, right? Like you get educated after getting married, and if you have that passion in you, and even when you bottle up your passions at one point in time when you have the trigger that will definitely come out so in during 2015 uh, when there was a massive flood and when people many people lost uh, uh, their lives and that is the starting and that's the trigger point when I came out deliberately to work for the community and it never stopped sexual assault cases and yes. everything where do you think the problem lies and uh, you know how what are the necessary steps that needs to be taken See, when you um, talk about the assault, um, see, when you, you have to um, focus like this, see, when people start reporting the assault and when people start voice out, vo voicing out the assault, then it will become a complaint, then you can, uh, uh, the criminal justice system will help you to, you know, uh, get the justice. So, POXO is very strong nowadays, right? Uh, so, through POXO, many of the children have got a relief also, they have got a redressal and also when you talk about the Nirbhaya Fund and there is a scheme called Nirbhaya Fund where the sexually assaulted young girls are getting benefited. See, the problem with the society is that when a child is sexually assaulted, most of the time the uh, parents believe that uh, when you voice out uh, this or when you make it as a complaint, uh, their status will get uh, affected. So for the sake of the status, uh, they tell their children not to voice out, not to talk about this. So what will happen is they will not talk, but they will carry this throughout their life. And um, when, when uh, at an early age, one, one, one small child is getting uh, sexually assaulted and when the parent does not stand with the child and at the later part of the age, when, some, when she gets married to a man and he is assaulting her in some other way, then also she will not uh, raise her voice. And more importantly, sex education is mandatory. See, people... Um, parents should talk about sex education if the school is not ready to talk about the sex education when you have a teenage child you should talk about the secondary organs growth 
you should talk about the sex education openly in the dining table and you should uh, if you have a small child you have to teach them what is safe touch and unsafe touch you have to tell them you see i have two boys okay right uh, and uh, it is it is a myth that the boy children are not getting affected sexual or not getting sexually affected assaulted see uh, you uh, be, society thinks that being a male is a privilege okay and um, most most of the time they don't open up okay and that is why they become wild also okay so you have to tell your children see people cannot touch you when you go to the restroom people cannot uh, touch you and your elders should not touch you and the t- and someone uh, who maybe someone in your environment even Uh, the offenders may be within the family. Um, I say no wonder, Nivedha. There are uh, the offenders are even fathers. The offenders are even brothers. I have heard cases where the children, girl children, does not like to go back to the family because they are getting sexually uh, assaulted by their own brother and fathers. So, uh, at least in this case, if you are going to empower this girl, she will know how to fight out and use the provisions and come to, come out. Okay, so. Uh, so the state and the society is also pay, pay, uh, playing an important role and the entire community is playing an uh, important role saying that please don't go and report so sex education at school is mandatory the teachers should teach them if the teachers are not ready to teach the parents should teach uh, so if if both of them are weak then they will go and uh, uh, learn sex education in the phone they will start watching porn and they will look for the uh, object to execute what they have learned and that is why the crime rate is also increasing so how do you think parenting should evolve according to the you know the changing generation yes see uh, i will not say that you should not live you cannot live you should not live without a phone okay but um see i the days the most dangerous thing is that parents when they are working especially when they are not able to give their time and love to the children they are replacing it with a material and that material is obviously the phone nowadays phone any other electronic gadget especially when children they will try to talk to the parents and the, when the parents are busy on, when they themselves are busy on the phone and when a child is coming and talking to you they will say go stop move move away uh, you come later so what they will do is they will find a company inside the phone so obviously see you have you see this generation is addicted to instagram you say in instagram you have everything you you have th- there are so many offenders who are doing uh, sexting who are um, you know like uh, they 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 used to uh, um, what to say they manipulate the children they used to manipulate the young girls and they will tell you you look beautiful you come on a video call so it is not a it is not just a video call it is a nick if you should come on a naked uh, you should show your body parts and, uh, and 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 you know like when the parents come and when it comes to the notice of the parent when you are not having vigilant about what is happening to the child one fine day when it come to the notice it does already cross the limit i have seen children challenging the parents who had been uh, get who had been addicted to the instagram and who are who are involved in these kinds of activities and the parents are also not ready to comp- do give a complaint they just wanted to have a support of the professional like us to come out of that so uh, the system should be strengthened right the parents should be very aware and vigilant and you see i will not deliberately say that uh, this is an electronic uh, uh, world this is a scientifically developed uh, world and uh, and uh, i will tell you tell the parents you teach the children to live with the phone but you teach the children what they should uh, 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 h- how far they should use the phone um, for example like the phone is also u- useful for the children to learn Uh, uh, in educational aspect so you cannot separate the children from the phone but giving a phone to a, a two year old and a one year old and uh, switching on the phone and when you start feeding the children only after seeing the cartoons they will um, they see there are so many young kids who will cry if you take the phone out of them so um, it is the 
problem with the parent right it is not the problem with the child the parent should know how how often they can give the phone and at which age they can give the phone and even when there is parental control and you should be vigilant about what what is happening to the children so if you are doing that then the children will also learn to use this technology wisely nowadays we see many young adults both men and women romanticizing the aggressive behavior you yeah. know by watching various films and everything you know how do you think this trend or this thought will affect uh, them in long term see uh, when you talk about the aggressive behavior uh, i am i am also in the social media recently i am showing so many yes screenshots in the facebook and instagrams about uh, two people talking romantically and in bad words okay so that is going viral uh, i think for the past one month i had seen so many yes uh, on the uh, on two people uh, two i mean the lovers and the, and the people in relationship talking in bad words and uh, for talking in bad words uh, is okay for them right and once when they are not okay with this relationship and they want to break up and they are just bringing it to the uh, 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 social media and uh, uh, throwing it on the social media see um, aggressive behaviors uh, for example they they wanted if 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 a girl wanted a, a rugged boy as the uh, uh, yeah so i think i can be uh, i can be very open so uh, girls does not when the girls does not want a chocolate boy and they want a rugged boy who see they should understand maybe in cinema cinema is only for 3 hours or 2 and a half hours in cinema it is okay but in reality these rugged boys will spoil your life for example if uh, see when you like a man who is who is a drunkard okay who is smoking okay and uh, who, when uh, sometimes you know during the relationship itself there will be red flags uh, maybe he is, he starts talking in the uh, bad words or um, yeah, like uh, he uh, he raises his hands again uh, on you for uh, he beats you and for the very first time you tell him okay he has beaten me okay this is the kind of man who is going to save me from the other man in the world in, in the later part of the life people have to save you from this man okay so he is going he is the biggest threat he, he is the biggest threat for you and when you have an ideology like this you are the threat for yourself so please girls come out of this myth so it is not about having relationship with a rugged boy or a chocolate boy it is about uh, having a relationship with a person uh, who is a gentleman who should know the, who will know the value of a woman who will know the value of a human being and who will know uh, who should know that uh, you know like he should know that he has to he has to treat a uh, he treat another human being in a proper way so uh, these are and you are not the rehabilitation centers so uh, women and for the young girls especially i also understand uh, niveda see uh, i can i think i can talk about this uh, see earlier when when there is a college function um, many ias officers ips officers and the social workers and the leaders politicians they 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 used to be the chief guests nowadays instagram heroes okay small small uh, you know like uh, and the, look at the craziness uh, girls are going and running after them and after some time these people are uh, in the social media that they have the offenders and, and they are involved in these sexually offensive acts uh. see i will i will i will tell uh, st- uh, see i just wanted to tell straight to the educational institution see maybe the girls are uh, not uh, you know empowered enough to have an idea that uh, um, um, about having uh, about having whom as a chief guest but what about the teachers and the educational institution what about the head of the institutions uh, so please uh, you know create some value uh, for the younger generation so the younger generation is very much uh, uh, you know like involved in the uh, involved in taking reels and they they are only concentrating on the um uh, happiness uh, you know uh, that, uh, that at that moment they should be happy and uh, they are not uh, they are not um, ready to you know like uh, um uh, what to say they are not uh, ready to look into the future because they are getting everything earlier generation we used to run and we have to search we have to do a task we have to work hard to get 
uh, get a car get a uh, uh, get, get our identity or uh, you know like uh, you have to uh, work hard to reach a position and you have to then only you can buy a house or you can build a house but nowadays look at the transition parents even when they are in the underprivileged community they believe that they have suffered a lot so i will give everything for the children okay so and they are restricting the children to search for their needs so when this is go when 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 this will not stop the younger generation is going to be in a very terrible uh, path and girls and girls should believe that they are not the rehabilitation centers and and they cannot rehabilitate a drunkard earlier and all they used to say you no know, like kalyana ana sari aidum if he is a drunkard okay so if he gets married it will be okay and if he is behaving psychic uh, and if he is a womanizer he is going to many women and if he gets married he will how will this how 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 they can change he is going to make the life of this uh, girl miserable so please uh, you know be aware of what is happening in the society and uh, uh, choose wisely first uh, and if you ask me deliberately more than choosing a partner getting an identity having a financial independence is very very important then you can get married and uh, uh, marriage is not uh, is not the settlement a marriage is a part of life so if they if the girls are having an understanding and even the boys if they are having an understanding on that i think the future uh, will be a better future uh has you said ma'am uh, earlier days people will be like uh, if a drunkard is married to a yeah. girl uh, you know he'll be okay but nowadays i think girls are having that expectation of i need you know yeah. the my partner should be a drunkard or something i like have saw, i have seen that in a tv show uh, a girl when a girl was deliberately sitting in the show and telling everyone that um, he is not drinking he is a teetotaler and he is not drinking see Uh, that's what uh, Niveda. Say, these girls are not aware of what is happening in the society. Okay, they and I feel pity for them. See, maybe uh, when when she is insisting on her husband to go and drink, and if he becomes, if it is a so, if he is going, if he is a social drinker, and if he knows the limitations, then that is different. Uh, okay, but if he is going to get addicted. then this girl's life will become miserable she will come and sit in the same show and she will tell that i am getting beaten by a drunkard uh, because they are not um, aware of uh, maybe they are not aware of the society or what is happening in the society and uh, and they are not even concerned about living a life with self respect and uh, when they give birth to the children and this man you know like when he becomes uh, uh, exhibits violent behavior and the child children is the hid- children are the hidden victim and they are watching the parents being violent and he will grow up to be a violent person and uh, automatically who will be the hero for the ch- children uh, the father so most of the, in most in most of the family even if a father is an offender if you ask a child who is your hero many children used to say that uh, my father is my hero so this is a question about the entire generation right so girls um, I, my my you know uh, i feel pity for these kinds of girls who uh, you know these girls should ca- try to come out of of this abusive uh, uh, you know uh, situations and uh, abusive ideologies see uh, there is a story and you know this right that learn and helplessness you used to uh, tie a small uh, elephant uh, um, a small elephant or elephant calf with that uh, single iron chain the elephant calf will not uh, run away but why is that uh, um, a tamer like uh, he is trying a big elephant with a single uh, uh, iron chain so this uh, single iron chain because he has tamed the elephant to not run away so this is called learned helplessness so psychologically this is learned helplessness and every woman they know they have the pa- they have they know to come out of this uh, Uh, even when they know the path to come out of the struggle they just don't want to come out of it because they have been tamed and uh, to be victimized so uh, this should change so if this changes the future will be a better future and the future will be uh, a, uh, you know uh, a non violent future so ma'am you are a non official member of the tamil nadu widows and destitute women welfare board uh, so you know what is your role in uh, taking the schemes to the public how how does it work 
Okay, so this um, uh, welfare board, when you ask about this, I think it is my responsibility to tell you that this is the first historical board all over India. Uh, so the Tamil Nadu government, like Transgender Wel Welfare Board, they have taken the initiative first time for the welfare of the widowed women, destitute women. So when, it, when you talk about the destitute women, you can talk about the abandoned women. Uh, deserted women, diverse and separated women, and the spinsters. So, through the objectives of the board are to promote the education, then work for the welfare of their uh, welfare of of this uh, category of women. We have to pro uh, we have to concentrate on the education, livelihood support. Uh, we have to concentrate on uh, spreading awareness about the uh, about their rights, their safety, their the laws associated with that, and then vocational training. So, and uh, we are not only focused focusing on that we are also focusing on uh, developing the self help uh, forming the self help groups creating bond uh, linkages through various departments like uh, tamil nadu skills development corporation women development corporation then you have thadco and we also concentrate on the uh, taking a step forward we are not only concentrating on the widowed women we are concentrating on the education of the widowed uh, women's uh, children also so when you talk about the widowed women see uh, there are you you widowed women does not belong to one category you have widowed women from different classes of life so uh, as a as a member of the board my role is member educationist so i believe in uh, giving education uh, to these women and whenever i uh, i whenever a widowed woman come and ask me like uh, ma'am I need support the first question that I ask is whether you are educated and if she says I'm educated I'll ask her what is your qualification and if she says her qualification the next question I'll ask her is do you have a widow certificate and the second question is do you have a destitute widow certificate that why that question of destitute widow certificate is so even even in uh, government exams for example TNPSC exams you have reservations for this widowed women so uh, when the widowed women take an exam then you know like it is very easy for her to get into the job so uh, so that will empower the entire generation right uh, so that is how i'm focusing and i'm and not only you you asked me about the schemes right so there are so many schemes available for the women uh, right from the day she gets pregnant uh, and uh, she uh, she she just grows up as a young girl then she gets educated then she becomes old there are so many schemes available for every woman in the social welfare and women empowerment department so uh, how i just uh, conduct awareness sessions i i, I conduct a workshops with the educational institutions like tamil nadu open university so we go and uh, we travel dist uh, district by district uh, we associate with the educational departments we associate with the local population and the local coordinators and we uh, create awareness on these schemes available to them and more than that uh, we, we uh, one more important thing is that like uh, the widowed welfare board uh, has um, launched a web portal for the widowed women to get enrolled uh, uh, into the government so that 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 creates a direct uh, you know a relationship between the uh, women who are in need with the government so you will not need any middleman in between so that you, for example if you if you want a uh, if you want to get a widow certificate earlier many women used to tell me that uh, we had to pay to get the widow certificate through an agent but now it is not like that once you get yourself enrolled in the widow board, widow welfare board officers will directly come in touch with you and they will ask you what is your need and they can uh, you can uh, avail the benefits from the government directly